guys, welcome back to my channel. Hopefully this is in focus. I'm filming this a little bit differently than my usual setup. I'm in the master bathroom. I didn't really want to film in my room today because it's on the corner of the house where they're doing construction outside and it was really loud so I was like... So today's video is going to be my blush collection. This was recently requested. Thank you to those who requested this. I hope you guys enjoy this. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know what else you want to see on my channel. I will not have a video up this Friday so I will be back next Monday with my May favorites. I am aiming to get that done for you guys and hopefully I'll go back to two videos a week. Otherwise I will just stick to my Monday uploads for now. I love you guys and I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye guys. Okay, so this is one of the places where I like to keep my blushes. These are the blushes I tend to reach for a lot more on a daily basis. So they're very visual, they're easy to reach for, and starting at the top, I have a lot of drugstore blushes. I have one from Pacifica. This is the Natural Minerals Blush in Camellia. I have one that I received in a, I believe it was an Ipsy bag from the brand So Susan. It's a universal blush. I like this one a lot. I have a couple of the Mineral Press blushes from e.l.f. I really love these guys. These are my two favorite shades. I have Sweet Retreat and Copa Cabana. I have two travel size samples of the Too Faced Love Flush blushes. These are in the shade Love Hangover and Your Love is King. I have two of the NYX HD blushes. I love these shades. This lighter one is Soft Spoken and then this darker one is called Amber. Really great product for the price as well because they're super affordable. I have one of the Love Flush blushes from Too Faced. This is Baby Love. This is one of my absolute favorite go-to blushes because it's so natural, it's so easy to work with and pretty much complements any makeup look you're going for. So I love this and that's why I keep it up here so I can easily access it. And then as I spin this around, I have a couple of the Essence Silky Touch blushes. I love these so much. I have Baby Doll, which is a light soft pink, and then this one called Autumn Peach, which is a beautiful peachy shade. These are really, really soft. They definitely are silky in touch and they blend really nicely. I also have this e.l.f. baked blush in Pinktastic, but this is not a blush. This is definitely a highlight and I love to use this a lot. It's really, really pretty highlight. And I think it's only like $3. And then I have a couple of the Vintage NYX Powder Blushes. They don't really sell these anymore in store. I used to pick these up a couple of years ago, but I love their little kind of quad pyramid style design. These powders are really blendable. I believe you can still pick them up on the actual NYX website for a couple of dollars. I have the shade here, Angel. Then I have Mauve. Mauve is one of my absolute favorites. It's just such a pretty, very universally flattering shade. And then this darker one is great in the fall time. It's called Mocha. It's almost like a kind of cranberry wine shade. It's really, really pretty. And by the way, this little tower is a powder kind of condominium from Zara Beauty and that's why I like to keep it out because it easily spins. I can fit all of my face powders on here. I have my blushes, my bronzers, my highlights, powder foundations, anything in powder compact form. So that's the top section of the blushes and I'm going to share with you what I have on here. So here I have some Milani blushes, the ones I reach for the most. This first one is Luminoso, then I have Coralina, and then I have Rose de Oro, which is such a beautiful rose gold. I have the Balms Cabana Boy, which I recently mentioned in my top five blushes worth the splurge. It's a beautiful kind of darkish mauve. It's very pigmented. Some people might be scared or off put by the color because it is so dark, but honestly, it looks so natural and so pretty on the skin, but it does give you a little bit of a deeper flush. It's really, really pretty. Then I have this one from MAC. This is actually a blush bronzer combination. This is called Cheeky Bronze Illuminizer Bronzer Blush. I do this all in place of those three products in one when I'm in a hurry, just kind of running errands or I don't want to wear a ton of makeup, I'll kind of dust this all over my face with a stipple brush and it really warms up the face, gives a little bit of a flush, a little bit of a highlight. I love, love, love cheeky bronze from MAC. Then following down here, I have some MAC blushes. This first one is called Spring Sheen. It's a really pretty springy shade because it's pink, but it's kind of coral. I don't know how to quite describe it, but it definitely has a beautiful sheen to it. I really like this blush. I have one of the MAC Mineralized Blushes in Warm Soul, another really pretty color. I like this one a lot to kind of use as a blush and bronzer in one, and it's an amazing, amazing blendable powder. And then the third MAC blush down here is MAC Harmony. It's a matte blush. It's definitely not a blush. It's kind of like a bronzer. I really like it to contour with or to, again, use as a blush and bronzer in one. And then down here, I have one of my absolute favorite NARS blushes. This is NARS Madly. It's a pretty soft pink. It's described actually as a seashell pink. It's a very, very subtle. It has a little tiny, tiny twinkle of sheen to it. I reach for it so much, so I have it here. And I thought I'd share this with you guys. I actually put it together in this little compartment with a blush from the drugstore that is pretty much a dupe of that NARS blush. This is Revlon's Naughty Nude. It's so similar in sheen, in tone, in color. So as you can see, these blushes are 
pretty much identical, except that one is high-end and one is from the drugstore. They're very, very similar swatched and on the face. The NARS one does last a little bit longer on my skin than the Revlon one. And then down here, I have this adorable little blush from Milani. This is their Powder Face Blush, and this one is called Romantic Rose. I have a couple from Wet n Wild. These are their Color Icon Blushes in Rose Champagne and in Fantastic Plastic Pink. I really love these blushes from Wet n Wild. Super affordable, blendable, and amazing quality. So this third drawer in my Ikea Alex drawer set is my blush drawer. So in here, I try to organize by drugstore and high-end and also by the brand. So right up here is where I have my H&M blushes. I only have three, I believe, and I really like them. And the packaging is beyond adorable. This one is actually in the shade Apricot. Over here, I have a couple of the e.l.f. blushes, the matte ones. Here's one of the cream NYX blushes. I actually like this one. I don't really like cream blushes, but the NYX ones are pretty amazing, and I like to blend them out and apply them with a small stipple brush from e.l.f. This NYX powder blush is called Ethereal. It's a really pretty pink. For some reason, this makes me think of the Victoria's Secret fashion show. It just gives this nice kind of highlighting effect as well as blush, so it's a really pretty shade. I have one of the L'Oreal blushes in the shade. I believe this is Apricot Kiss. Yes, this is Apricot Kiss. I love this blush. It's a really pretty peachy shade and it has a little bit of highlight within it as well. I have one of the Maybelline Master Highlighting Blushes. This one is in Pink Rose. It's a really pretty rosy shade that has some highlight to it. The one called Nude, which I believe is the very first shade, is the one I actually use to highlight with. I really love these from Maybelline. I have some blushes from Sleek Cosmetics back there. I have a couple from CoverGirl underneath of that. Here I have some of these City Color B Matte Blushes. I think these are really awesome. I find them at five below, really affordable. They're in that two to three dollar range. I have one of the blushes from Jane Cosmetics. And then I have one of the Makeup Revolution blushes, the matte blush. This one is in Nude. It's such a pretty everyday shade. And the powder is so amazing. It's so soft. I have a couple of the Flower Beauty blushes in here. And that's pretty much my drugstore section on this side. And then in the middle, I have a couple more MAC blushes. I have Peachy Keen. I have this one called Blush Baby. It's a really pretty kind of brown nude, which is great for contouring and bronzing with as well. And then I have this mineralized blush in Gentle, which is a really dark kind of almost hot pink. I really like this one more in the fall time, and it has a lot of nice sheen to it. Over here, I have a whole bunch of the Tarte blushes. My favorite one is Exposed. I have a Japanesque blush. I have one from Kiko Cosmetics. I put it in here because it fit just easier. I have a blush from Becca. This is Wild Honey. I love this blush so much. This is the perfect fall blush. It's like a peachy kind of nudish tangerine brown. Really, really gorgeous. I love the powders from Becca. I have all of the Lorac Color Source blushes back here. They're magnetized, so once you stack them like this, they kind of stick together. I have some more of these contouring and blush duos from e.l.f. back there. Then over here, I have some of the Cheek Pop blushes from Clinique. I have Nude Pop, Melon Pop, and Plum Pop. I actually stuck one of the Nutri Regina Healthy Skin Blushes in number 50 Luminous on this side. I didn't have room for it over here, but it's a pretty kind of sheeny, almost more of a highlight than a blush, but I keep it here in case I want to add a little more splash of shine to my more matte blushes. Over here, I have another blush that I got from a, I believe, BoxyCharm. The brand is called Studio Makeup, and it's a really pretty blush in the shade Wild Flower. I have one of the Benefit Box Blushes. This is Rockateur, and then underneath of that, I have Hervana. I love both of those. I have one of the newer released Too Faced Sweetheart Blushes in Sparkling Bellini. It's a really pretty color. Hold on, let me open it. I love how it has three different shades. They're all shimmery, very, very pigmented, and again, super easy to blend. I love this blush when I'm in a hurry because it gives me that highlight and it also gives me that pretty flush of color to my cheeks. I have two more of the Love Flush blushes from Too Faced, How Deep Is Your Love and I Will Always Love You. These blushes are amazing. The packaging's adorable. Back here, I have a limited edition or I believe holiday edition little set from Too Faced. So inside you have a really pretty blush shade. You have kind of like a bronzy, sparkly eyeshadow and then a matte white shadow which is pretty much all you need to create a really smoky easy eye and it has that pretty blush so I really like this I think I picked this up online I don't really remember but I've saved it because it's Too Faced one of my favorite brands and the packaging is just so cute Back here in its box still is the Too Faced Papa Don't Peach Blush. And even though I do reach for this blush a lot, I have to put it back in its box because I can't throw this box out. It's just so cute. And this blush smells like peach. It smells so, so good. You guys definitely have to go check it out in store. 
So that's what it looks like, and when you open it, you have the prettiest kind of shimmery, sheeny peach shade. So it's definitely a highlighting blush. It's just such a flattering shade. I think it's perfection. And then back here, I have some of the Laura Geller blushes. This one is the Bronze and Brighten and Fair. I feel like it's more of a blush than it is a bronzer, so I really like to use it to kind of warm up my contour or simply as a blush. And then underneath of that, I have the one in Sunswept. This is actually the Blush and Brighten, and Sunswept is really, really pretty. I love their marble detailing. These products are baked. They last forever. And then I believe I got this in a BoxyCharm or an Ipsy bag. It's a cargo blush <gasps> in the shade Bali, which is a really pretty soft dusty pink. I've often used this actually as an eyeshadow, give a little bit more neutralness. I don't know. It just really looks pretty on the skin as a blush, as an eyeshadow, as anything. It's just really flattering shade. And then in the very back of this drawer is where I have some more bronzers. I have some contouring kits. And then I do have this little blush set from Maybelline. This is the Master Blush Palette. It has three blushes and a highlight. I reach for this a lot. I really, really like it. It's $10, definitely worth it. The products are pigmented and super easy to blend. And then underneath of that, I have the Master Contour, which has a blush, highlight, and bronzer. So that is it for this blush drawer. And then in this bottom drawer here is where I have a whole bunch of more blush-related products. It's kind of a surplus of extra blushes that either are backups or just ones I have not opened yet. Things I've gotten from Ipsy, backups of Tarte, I have some e.l.f. blush duos, I have some pixie blushes way in the back, I have a whole bunch of Wet n Wild blushes over here. Okay, so in here I have another little palette for single or just loose blushes. I have some from Benefit. I have one from the brand Pandora's Face that I got, I believe, in Ipsy. But the rest of these are from Benefit. Bella Bamba. Dandelion, and Rockateur. I believe I got this in a subscription service. This is a blush palette from Tarina Tarantino. I've never given it away, even though most of these shades are shades I would never use, but that pretty melon shade right here, I definitely like it. And this nude shade to the right of it is really pretty as well. So that's why I've never given it away. And it is really cute packaging because you have that really nice full-size mirror and it's very sleek and easy to kind of travel with. I have these little holiday sets that came in a Too Faced collection, the carousel collection, and I have luminous peach blush and sun bunny dark bronzer. So these are great to reach for if I'm traveling or I just don't want to pack a ton of makeup. And this one has Who's Your Poppy blush and Chocolate Soleil. I also have the Tarte Tardis blush palette. I actually have not used this yet, so it's still in its original packaging, but I have it here, so if I ever want a blush palette to take with me, I know where I can find one. Either that or I can bring these little single guys with me. And then back in here, like I said, is a lot of surplus extra, backups, just things that I can reach for when I run out of things in my actual blush drawer up the here. And then over here, I have all of my Milani baked blushes. I have some of the powder blushes. I have something I got from Ipsy from the City Color Collection, the B Matte Blush Trio. I have some Wet n Wild. I have some of the blush duos from e.l.f. And underneath of all of this is where I have the e.l.f. Total Face Palette. I have a Pixie Blush from Aspen Novard. I haven't used this yet, so it's just kind of sitting in here. And then back in here are all of my The Balm blushes. I know they're here when I need them, and it's just very organized in that manner. This is a random blush that I bought online because they told me that it was a dupe for one of the MAC blushes that is always sold out, which I think is Melba, and this is a brand called Bizu. Bizu? I'm not really sure how to pronounce this, but the shade is number 60 five and it's called Duranzo and apparently it's a dupe for MAC so I have that in there and then this is my Z palette where I have all of my makeup geek blushes because they are sold individually and this just seemed like the easiest way for me to store them and since it is kind of big I just keep it down here along with my two BH Cosmetics blush palettes I have the 10 color palette which is very rosy and pink and kind of bright I've been using this a lot as eyeshadow and then this one is a newer edition this is the nude blush palette and yes Carly Bible did make me pick it up because she's always using it and I just wanted to have it and add it to my collection. Try to be as neat as I possibly can. Let me know if you liked it, let me know what you want to see, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!